think of the internet as a sphere with three shells. The first shell is the surface web, which can be accessed through search engines like Google. The second shell is the deep web, which includes content that cannot be accessed through usual search engines. 90% of websites are stored in the deep web. The third is the core, aka the dark web. Only 2% of web content is hidden in the dark web, where illegal web content is king. The deep web and the dark web are radically different from each other, and this is how you can tell them apart. Deep web versus dark web. Is there any difference between dark and deep web content? Yes, absolutely. First off, the deep web is legal. The dark web is not. Your Netflix account is stored on the deep web. It can only be accessed by someone who knows the password. The dark web is illegal, and it's like the shadow internet. It includes secret web content. Why is invisible web content often called the dark web? The dark web, or concealed web, does not include indexed web content. The users of this subsurface web are law enforcement agencies, high-profile authorities, and of course, hackers. The dark web contains cyber threats and questionable databases. Deep web content and its browsers. How can the deep web be harmless and legal? Think of the deep web as a safe deposit box. It's where all your bank account information, emails, and hidden social media pictures are stored. The deep web is a collection of several databases, and they can be public or private, but cannot be explored using search engines. Dark web browsers and software. What is Tor Onion Routing? How can it create hazards? Onion routing is the formal way to get a registry to explore dark web content. By using the Tor search engine, no one can spy on you, providing anyone with complete anonymity. Another gray web browser that's similar to Tor is the Invisible Internet Project, I2P. What kind of illicit activities take place on the dark web? Nearly 60% of Onion services through Tor or I2P contain illegal content. On the light side, hackers sell keyloggers, phishing information, and botnets. On the dark side, cybersecurity professionals have seen everything from paid assassinations to sex trafficking, cyber thefts, and even weapons handling. That's the truly dark web. Deep Web and Dark Web Users How does deep web data benefit the users? Government officials and private organizations use the internet to communicate with the organization. Users of the deep web have access to locally restricted sites, TV, or social media content, which is unavailable on the surface web. Pirated music or banned movies are a few examples of deep web content, and they can be accessed through everyday browsers. Is the dark web a suspicious place for scammers? Most users want to remain anonymous because they take part in illegal activities. If they don't, they could go to jail. So, yeah, this is the place for scammers, hackers, and all sorts of cyber criminals. If you want to know more about the most prominent APTs and threat actors in the cybercrime sphere, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and then check out our threat intelligence reports. Understanding your adversary and staying one step ahead ensures avoiding any unwanted surprises in your systems.